Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel, Evolve with Monette. For those of you that are new here, I am a professional intuitive empath and the message today is a simple one. <laughs> you were strategically placed into people's lives to see what they would do with your divine energy. You were strategically placed into people's lives, dispatched, sent out, and ordered into people's energy to see what they would do with yours. This is very Beauty and the Beast, tale as old as time, but you are not Belle and you are not Beast. You are the High Priestess by the door. You are tucked away. You are clothed in sackcloth and ashes. Now, not actually, not literally, but very figuratively, meaning you have been cloaked in the very thing that would cause whomever's life you were dispatched in to disregard you as not as significant or important. Whatever that thing is, and for everybody, it's different. That's the magic of magic. It means that it can shift, shift shape and shape ship, excuse me, into anything. No, it can shift a shape. Yes, it can into anything that it needs to be. And that is what happens with your energy. You, my dears, are shapeshifters. And so sometimes God will dispatch you into people's lives and they will cloak you in the thing that they may say no to. Sometimes you will show up in the form of an addict. Sometimes you will show up short. Sometimes you will show up tall. Sometimes you will show up in a different color, ethnicity, or social caste in the system of our financial security. You will show up the way that they would say no and normally turn their nose up and you are in that robe, that cloak, that meat suit of whatever it is that would be the thing that they would say absolutely not to because you are a test to see how they will treat you. And upon the treating of you, the judgment is handed down, meaning whatever comes after is something for which you may not want to stick around if they do not choose wisely. There will be some that will see past the shallow how of it all, if you will. And that may be only some people's bitter pill in my life that has been mine. But for you, it will be something else otherwise divine. You may be testing people that are not happy because you are East Indian and they are, uh, you know, Muslim, but Pakistani. I don't know. Like you may be dealing and I've had clients that have dealt with these kind of issues. Like I can't marry them because of my family. I can't marry them because of black, because of white. I can't be involved with them because same sex or what would people say I can't marry them because they don't make the kind of money whatever is the thing you will be sent in my earth angels and divine feminines and divine masculines to see how will some people treat your energy so completely and upon the treating of you then the judgment then begins now that doesn't mean that it's just for you to be there testing everybody's wins and sins and that you just get discarded and used absolutely abundance and happiness will come to you too but people are sometimes allowed to be around you and allowed to dismiss you so that their dreams will <laughs> or won't come true it's that simple it may not be fun for someone that is doing it to hear but it is the truth, my sweet dears. You have been the litmus test to see what people will listen to. What's in their ears? What's in their heart? What's in their soul? What's in all of their chakras? Who do they allow to have control? Themselves, their spirit team, or the community, depending on what the community or whom the community is. Or it could be their own egos. But you are a gift. Never underestimate that you're a gift. And never underestimate that you are dispatched in. I have folks that are dispatched in for me, and so do you. Meaning we are given earth angels to see how would we treat them? Will we respect them will we honor will we care will we where will we listen will we share will we be good and spread our goodness to those who do care for us too. So you're not just the only earth angel that is called to do the work, boo-boo. You will be doing the work and the work will be done with you. And that's why you should be so careful how you treat those that may seem smaller among you or may seem more humble or may seem different or otherworldly to you. You never know when you're in the presence of divinity. I have been divinity in people's lives. You have been divinity in people's lives and people are divinity in our lives. I trust my collective to be so wise and to treat people the way they would want to be treated because you never know when treating a high priestess, an earth angel, an intergalactic planetary being, a light worker, a Palladian, an Anunnaki will be seen by those above us. It's above us always. 
we are just in this great cosmic play. We are on this great cosmic chessboard. And we are nobody's ladies or lords to that degree. We are just down here being moved around, actually. Is there free will? Yes. But are we being judged for our services and for the way that we allow access or deny access? Yes. It doesn't mean you have to love everybody. You do not. It doesn't mean you have to like everybody. You do not. It doesn't mean you have to accept everybody. But sometimes when you're placed in someone's life, you are dispatched as divinity. And it's not about how they treated you. It was about revealing their heart for the universe, for God, for the people that judge above us, the spirit teams to see. And if you feel like you need recompense, then call in that because you will receive it completely. But you were dispatched, Earth Angel. You were dispatched, Light Worker, because you were a test. How are they going to handle the divinity in you? You are an extension of God. You are dreams come true. You are galaxies yet unbirthed. And sometimes people will do you the absolute worst, but that judgment rests on their heads. Better leave them spiritually for dead than to sacrifice yourself trying to get karmic justice and retribution. It is not for you to do. We are of service in these divine vessels, and that is the truth. So be careful, because you never know when an earth angel, an intergalactic fiend, a light worker, some high priestess that's cloaked herself that does not want to be seen is amongst you. There is always more spiritual work to do, and we are not alone. There is always a higher energy, an entity, observing you. And so it is. Come back and join me next time, guys. We'll continue to evolve together.